Wow, this feels kind of like a prison. Welcome to Brooklyn. Today we are in Bed-Stuy. Great area, underrated. Subway transit here gets a C because that's the only train. But what's great is that there's a lot by the train. Burgers, chicken, two discount stores, and for some reason there's a McDonald's. If you move here just to get breakfast there, you're wasting your money. There's a fish market. In the window you can see some salmon. Check that out, that looks pink. Chinese food. I think they just opened, and that looks like a buffet. This discount store sells Mortal Kombat masks, umbrellas. Just get the down jacket, more sensible. Then we got a taco shop, and a place that sells fake pizza. Oven baked goodness, because coffee Calling it pizza would mean they could be sued. Popeyes. How are you? I'm nice to see you. I had an apartment to show. Oh, wait. If you have an apartment to yes. show. Oh. Yeah. Send me a message on Instagram. Okay. Yeah, do it. Send me a message. There's your grocery store. And here's your gym. It's Equinox's version of Planet Fitness. 10 bucks a month. Tasty Patty. Jamaican Bakery. Check this out, local fruit market. Everything you need to live for a long time, they sell hot peppers, regular peppers, these things. There's no way those are limes. These are called breadfruit, coconuts, cantaloupe. Then there's Burger King. This actually looks pretty good. Let's try it. I should have got Popeyes. But you should try Fisherman's Cove. Really, really good jerk chicken and jerk pork. That's a tattoo place. We've got like 10 more businesses. But don't worry, the neighborhood's about to get a lot quieter. Check that out, independent moving company, man with a van. If you wanna save money on your move, that's the way. Free books, look at that, you can get a free book. But this is starting to look like a neighborhood that is way cheaper than it should be. And even though this is kind of a busy street, it's not super loud and obnoxious. Chinese, fish and chips. Look at him, there he is, starting trouble. I see you. Local pizza. This neighborhood has everything. And it also must be pretty safe. Look, people use cheap locks like this to lock up expensive bikes. Now this, this is proper bike security. Although you still shouldn't leave something like that outside. Around the corner, we got a gym. We've got cupcakes. Dough Girl, great name. I'm sure they're addicting. Is it a new restaurant? Refurbishing. Refurbishing. What, is it? what do you guys serve? and pasta and some Caribbean food. Maca tree, there we go. Body contouring. I think you look fine just the way you are, but maybe living near this would be convenient for someone. There's another coffee house. Oh, and look at that. They got some red waffles and some regular waffles. Definitely get your breakfast here. Natty Garden. There's a sale on all of these pretty flowers. Lemongrass, rye. You could start a little herb garden. There's people who dream of moving right here to Brooklyn and starting their own herb garden. And they got pumpkins, southern comfort, soul food, seafood, vegan, chicken and waffles, licorice beauty, millennial nails. Lots of beauty stuff around here. Whoa, look at that. There's a little real estate company down here. That's so cool. That right there is the building. And what's cool is right across the street, you got the deli. I know all delis use the same pictures, but look at that, man. That bacon, egg, and cheese looks so good. They've also got the same deodorant I use and the same toothpaste I use. I guess if you want to be like me, you can rent today's place. Nice. There's also a little coffee place. The Odd Fox. This is also right next to that deli, so everything you need right here. Fridge sounds weird. Maybe this? There we go. Well, at least we know it works. Interesting place. Three beds, two baths, two floors, 3,100. 
big closet, kind of in an awkward spot because to open the door, you have to have it closed. But look at this, man, you got a lot of storage. Next up, we got ourselves a little video intercom over here, but you might not need it since the front door is like right there, you could see. Also, we got a good view of the street because we're basically street level. And look at this, the building itself has a really, really nice setback, so we're not like right on the corner. That's our window, that's the door. And then there's like this space right here. I don't know if you're supposed to use this or why you would really use it, but where it gets really neat is the other side of this gate. These windows, this is still our apartment, and there's almost like a private outdoor area. There's a grill, there's some plants, and this right here, this actually opens, well, it kind of opens, there's a chain. That's our window, that used to be a door, an entrance, and that's our apartment now. Hard to tell if it works. Plants look okay, someone's been taking care of them. I would wanna get a key to this as soon as I move in. Look, it even has a little basement window to our basement. Laundry in basement. It looks like we got two washers, one dryer. Over here, we got the little laundry sink, a picture from someone's apartment, fire extinguisher, and trash. Also, look at how clean this basement is. There's like no mess down here. I like these walls, that's cool. And right up the stairs is our place, which means you'll probably be able to hear when your laundry's finished. The living area is 15 feet long by eight feet wide. And that doesn't include this space because this is kind of like the hallway, but all of this you could set up. Kitchen table, couch, entertainment. One, two, three. If three people rent this, that's $1,000 per person. And you've got an actual hangout space. These lights are also a nice touch. Without those, it would just feel really dark in here, but they really brighten it up. Decent pressure. That being said, this is an extremely basic kitchen. Is there a dishwasher? No, but there's free trash bags. Any other freebies? Oh, look at that, a bamboo utensil tray. Might as well keep digging. Oh, look at that, there's an outlet, so you can put your microwave in that cabinet. If your microwave's in there, you can use the top of the fridge for other stuff. Fridge is nice, same deal with the stove, but the counter space, this might not be enough for everyone. But a rolling counter right here, that would complement this nicely. This is an absolutely massive basement. Do you hear that echo? This is 29 and a half feet long by 12 feet wide. That vent is for heating and AC. And if you put a divider here, this could be a bedroom. It would have its own little closet. Not just one, but two windows. And then the rest of this could be a den. It could be a set of home offices. And then by this pipe, you could have some weights and a treadmill. Get yourself a nice home gym. This door, where does this go? Let's see here. Oh, okay, this goes out into the ba uh, basement. That's the laundry. It's a little room under the stairs. My guess is that this wasn't actually here originally. In fact, I think all these doors were just put here to kind of box this off. Fan's kind of loud. But look, we got a little half bath down here. Towel holder. It's taller than me. There must have been giants living in here. Seriously, why is this here when the sink is there? Anyways, this looks pretty good. We got ourselves a little, oh, oh, uh-oh. Uh oh no. Okay, I see what I did when I tapped it to see if it was a medicine cabinet. I dislodged it, but now it's back. All two floor apartments should have two baths because if that's not down here, whoever might be sleeping here or hanging out here, they're gonna have to walk back upstairs if nature calls. This looks like the closet that has all the stuff for your heating and AC. You're probably not gonna wanna go in here. Burner switch, don't touch that. And look at that, the door shuts on its own. This is where the bedrooms are and the full bath. Look at that, they got some toilet cleaner in there. This place is gonna be all spiffed up by the time you rent it. And this bathroom I like a lot better. Look, we got ourselves an actual medicine cabinet. The sink looks more modern, that's someone's bagel. The tub itself, nice, big, deep, you could actually use it. Or wait, maybe this is just paper towel. Tiling's nice. What will we find down here? 
here. Okay, nothing, but you know, again, it's clean. You, can, you don't see dead bugs or anything in here. Every time you see a cheap apartment, check stuff like this because you never know. What's interesting though, look at the uh, door handle on here. This looks like it's been reinforced. Did someone live here and really need their privacy? Were they afraid of someone breaking in on them? Just make sure you know who your roommates are. These guys are out here picking up cans, but I can't hear any of that noise because these windows are solid. And this is a solid bedroom, 10 feet by 12 feet. And this is weird, there's a switch in here, but I don't see a light, but it is bright. Bed probably goes here. Dressers by the wall. Or a home office, and then more storage over here. The actual closet here is pretty good. It's missing the door, or it was removed so they could paint. Either way, having a door there, it might conflict with this door if it swings open. Do we have anything behind here? No. Nope. Just some plate. If you're sharing this with three people, I don't think a thousand bucks is unreasonable for this space. Okay, check this out. This is actually the um, entryway for the building that it had in prior years. You can see the steps right there. And this is on the other side of that door. There's a lock here. I bet you, you can get a key to that. And maybe you could have your own private entrance or exit to this room. Either way, this is not bad. Nine feet wide, 10 feet long. Let's check out the closet. Okay, it seems there is no closet. But if your bed's over here, you could probably get something in that corner or against the wall. Again, for the price that we're talking about. If you can make this work, you're gonna save a lot of money. Maybe you could take over the coat closet. Maybe you could use some of the basement storage. Or maybe whoever gets that room pays more and you pay like $750. If you wanna live here, check out the video description. Subscribe if you had fun. Pick another video. I'll see you soon.